Hey guys, so I am an educator at Unacademy and you can follow me over there if you are interested to watch videos on basic concepts of chemistry or physical chemistry topics. You can also recommend this to your juniors and to your younger siblings, right? All you need to do is download the Unacademy learning app and watch my videos over there. Now let's just begin with our topic. Right, so a very good evening to everyone. Today we are going to discuss about some questions um, pertaining to reaction mechanism. Alright, so reaction mechanism in organic chemistry, it's, it's quite simple. All you need is some basic knowledge of name reactions and some very basic general organic chemistry knowledge. If you have these two prerequisites, uh, it will be very easy for you to do questions based on reaction mechanism which are important from entrance exam point of view and also from an academic exam point of view. Now this video will be very very beneficial for students who are from let's say physical chemistry background or uh, who are from inorganic chemistry background or who in general don't find uh, organic chemistry uh, easy all right so it will be good for those those kind of students so let us uh, uh, dive into one of the questions that was asked in your csi net exam and see uh, how to solve such some questions all right so this particular question came in your csi net december 2017 examination and this is the reagent that is given to us it's given to us that there's an alkyne i hope you are able to see this alkyne is visible so we have an alkyne to this alkyne we are adding this alkyl we are adding this boron reagent right so to the alkyne we are adding a boron reagent Agent. and on this addition of the boron reagent we get a compound a to this compound we are adding a alkyne all right to this uh, sorry not an alkyne to uh, we are adding a allylic allyl halide we are adding a allyl halide right to this product a we are adding a allyl halide right which is nothing but a bromo compound uh, with a double bond and along with that we are adding palladium catalyst and our base and we get a product B. So what we need to identify is what is product A and what is product B. Now the question itself is very simple. It's basically uh, the whole reaction is your Suzuki coupling reaction. This whole reaction from this point to the point B is nothing but Suzuki reaction. And we can break down this Suzuki reaction into two reactions, right? First is generation of your alkyl boron compound, all right? So here you need to know, need to have knowledge of Suzuki reaction and hydroboration oxidation reaction, all right? These two reactions, you have to need you need to have knowledge and these two are the very basic reactions when you uh, when you talk about organic chemistry in general so if you had knowledge of these two reactions it would have been very easy for you to solve this question now let's look on how to solve this question so um we have an alkyne right so i'll write down my alkyne over here n butyl and then we have the alkyne right so this is our alkyne present this is a terminal alkyne and to this terminal alkyne what we are going to do is um, we are going to add this boron reagent so it's given to us that this boron reagent is added right so this is our boron reagent for convenience sake i'll write it as or this whole group i'll write it as or because i don't want to draw it again and again so i'm just writing down writing it down as or now for those of you who have studied um hydroboration oxidation reactions you might be knowing that the reaction in hydroboration oxidation is a concerted reaction concerted reaction means it happens in one single step right so your terminal alkyne this is your um terminal alkyne so from the terminal side of the carbon that is the car carbon which is present at the end this carbon is going to attack the boron okay and you will ask why does it want to attack the boron it would like to attack to the bo it would like to attack to boron because boron is electrophilic in nature when you compare boron and hydrogen there's a bond between boron and hydrogen right so when you compare the electronegativities of hydrogen and boron you will find that the boron is more electropositive in fact hydrogen is more electronegative right so boron is more electropositive i'm saying and hydrogen is more electronegative so hydrogen will pull the electrons towards itself and have a minus delta charge where in this case only in this case it depends on uh, depends on the case uh, to which hydrogen is attached if you are attaching uh, let's say hydrogen to nitrogen then obviously hydrogen is more electropositive and nitrogen is more electronegative so over there the plus delta charge will reside on hydrogen but in this case uh, because it's attached to a more electropositive atom that is boron hence uh, the delta negative charge will reside on hydrogen all right and the delta positive charge it will reside on boron right so now this carbon which is alkyne like this alkyne is going to attack this boron and alkynes are electron rich all right electrine alkynes are or triple bonds are electron rich so what they go, what it is going to do the terminal side is going to attack the boron now why the terminal side the reason for the attack of terminal side is because um 
because this boron you can see has two bulky groups also attached to uh, to it to to the boron uh, atom so to the boron atom we, uh, boron atom we have two bulky groups also attached so what will happen is um, if if the internal side attacks if the internal carbon attacks the boron there will be steric repulsions so if the attack takes place from the terminal side uh, it will be more uh, feasible there will be less steric repulsions and this will be more favorable so that is why the attack is taking place from the terminal side now i'm explaining you each and every step so that uh, for those of you who do not understand organic chemistry uh, you know with that much clarity you'll have some clarity on how to do the reactions that is why i'm explaining each and every step in detail all right so why is it happening then what happens in the same step your hydrogen attacks this carbon so this is what i meant by a concerted mechanism that this attack and this attack both the attacks take place at the same time that is why this reaction is follows the concerted mechanism that means the attack of alkyne on the boron and the addition of hydrogen to this triple bond they uh, they take place at the same time all right so once this takes place we get a compound now there are in the in the options in the examination in this particular question there were four options given for product a two of the options contain one product and two of the options contain the other product i'll draw the products and you tell me which one is the correct one right so one of the products was trans product where we had n butyl um, double bond and we had our boron compound that is b o r whole twice so this was one compound okay in the options this was one compound that was given to us and the other compound that was given to us was the cis product that is where your n butyl and your boron both are on the same side so this is a cis product on the second on the right hand side and on the left hand side you can see there's a trans product so you tell me which one will be more favorable now i told you that the attack of the alkyne on the boron and the addition of hydrogen to the alkyne they both are taking place at the same time it's all taking place at the same time that's it's a concerted mechanism that means uh, that the addition of addition of hydrogen to the alkyne and the attack of alkyne to the boron they both are taking place from the same phase same phase from the same phase let's say this is our alkyne let's say this is our alkyne if the boron reagent is hovering around here on this side and the addition and the attack of this triple bond is taking place on the boron and then their hydrogen is attacking this um uh, a triple bond the addition of hydrogen is taking place on the triple bond you can see it is happening on the same phase it's not happening on this phase this phase it's happening on this phase only both the addition of boron uh, i mean the the addition the addition of hydrogen and the attack of alkyne on boron both are taking place from the same plane so they are happening in the same phase that means the addition of boron and hydrogen is going to take place from the same phase over here if you see this we had a hydrogen already over here on the terminal side we already had a hydrogen right so um this hydrogen is at is this addition of hydrogen is taking place at the internal side okay this addition of hydrogen is taking place at the internal side so this is our hydrogen that is added this is our hydrogen that is added and this is a boron that is added added you can see in this case they are in the same they are, they are uh, the addition is taking place on the same side that is the boron and hydrogen are present on the same side so this this is definitely correct but if you see in this case um the boron is on the on this side on this face and hydrogen is on the opposite face which is not possible for hydroboration oxidation reactions so we cannot have a cis product we'll definitely have this product which is trans product so you have already eliminated two options from your answer all right the next one is pretty simple uh, there is one thing that you need to know which is uh, which is actually a thing which uh, takes place in coupling reactions so first of all you, how do you identify coupling reaction for that you will have to study name reactions you have to study these three or four name reactions like your suzuki suzuki coupling your heck reaction um sonogoshira reaction all right uh, then kumada reaction these are some reactions that you have to study these all are coupling reactions and all of them follow uh, more or less the same mechanism all right so it will be very easy for you if you understand only one of the reactions and suzuki reaction is actually the most important because this reaction has the most uh, uh, like most of the applications in organic chemistry are related to this reaction even in industrial uh, synthesis suzuki reaction has the most number of applications so that is why if you study um, suzuki reaction uh, the rest of the reactions more or less have the same mechanism and it will be easy for you to uh, solve those particular um, i mean uh, practice those particular name reactions all right 
so we are adding a palladium catalyst and a base so base is potassium hydroxide if you study about suzuki reaction you will know that we need a, a base we need a palladium catalyst so we have both of these conditions and we also have a allyl halide that is this compound so what do we have it is given to us this compound is given to us right and uh, the product a that we got was basically a trans product where we had boron over here bor all twice um all right then we had hydrogen then we had hydrogen over here and we had n butyl group like this so this is our trans product we got and this is our product that we have so addition of this and this simply what you need to do is when you have this compound and this compound over here so we have a allyl halide and we have a allyl bromide allyl boron compound allylic boron uh, boron compound so for this when the suzuki reaction takes place um this bond this this carbon and this carbon this carbon and the, this carbon this carbon over here they get conjugated i'll write it down in this way so that it is easier for you to understand um we have a boron over here like this so this is our compound okay this is the compound this is a cis compound this is a trans product and this is a trans alkene and this is a cis alkene so in the coupling reaction what happens is the carbon which is attached to the boron the carbon which is attached to this boron and the carbon which is attached to this halide that is bromine in this case these both will couple together couple together means they will form a bond so suzuki reaction is a cc bond forming reaction so the carbon which is which is attached to the boron and the carbon which is attached to the bromine or the halide in this case the halide is bromine do, those two carbons will form a bond with each other all right those two carbons are going to form a bond with each other in presence of palladium catalyst and a base and the thing about suzuki reaction is that the stereochemistry of the products of the of the reactant and the uh, of both the reactants is retained that means if this is cis this will remain cis and if this is trans it will remain trans this, so this is a property of suzuki reactions that whenever suzuki reaction happens the stereochemistry of the reactants is maintained so what is going to be a product the product is going to be basically now uh, i'll wrap this off i'll draw the product over here okay so the product is you have a double bond okay and um, so we have a um, carbon okay like i told you it should be trans so this product will also be trans okay and then we have the double bond over here attached like this and then we have the, this product should be cis so you can see over here this is our trans product this alkene is trans and this alkene over here is cis so what did i do i just removed this bromine i removed this boron compound and i joined these two carbons to which the boron and the bromine were attached that is all i have done so for 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 things to get easier we can label the car carbons this is carbon 1 this is carbon 2 this is carbon 3 this is carbon 4 this is carbon 5 and this is this is carbon this is carbon 4 and this is carbon 5 similarly you can label over here just to see that the number of carbons are same 1 2 3 4 and 5 so this is going to be a product so this was the answer and you can see how simple it is so first of all you eliminated two options if you had uh, even a basic knowledge of hydroboration oxidation and you knew just this fact uh, that your um, you know addition of your uh, this this whole mechanism of hydroboration oxidation is a concerted mechanism you could have easily guessed that the boron and hydrogen are going to attack from the same phase and that is why our product is going to be trans that is product number a should be trans and then if you had studied about suzuki reaction uh, then obviously it was very easy for you to know that in presence of a palladium catalyst if you are adding a allylic halide um, you will get this product b right so this was a simple uh, four marker that came in csi net exam and for those of you who were not from my organic background who are preparing for physical and inorganic there are a lot of questions from organic chemistry which are very simple in four markers so do not get afraid of you know of of um, Uh, seeing so many complex reactions yes some of the reactions are complex but in the end there are many reactions especially in the last one year or so organic chemistry from csi net exam has has been really simple all right there there are not many tough questions so it would be it would be more um, i think 
the trend is going to remain the same so it will be more beneficial for students who are preparing for physical and inorganic if organic is easy because if you can score about 16 20 marks from organic itself uh, then no one can stop you from uh, clearing your say net exam right so uh, don't be scared just follow simple mechanisms that you have studied in your bachelor's or in your master's right in master's most of you must be studying complex reactions uh, but for those of you who are in bachelor's hydroboration oxidation is a reaction that you might have studied in 11th and 12th also so the you just have to you know uh, keep your basics afresh even with the help of your basics you can solve complex questions and like i told you nowadays the questions in an organic chemistry are really simple so don't be afraid of seeing so many complex um, you know formulas and complex structures in the end the reaction is going to be really simple so i hope this video was helpful to you uh, do give me a feedback if you want some more um, examples uh, pertaining to reaction mechanism with the help of questions then i'll be happy to do so all right so please like subscribe and share my channel and thank you so much for watching and all the very best for the upcoming exams